Okay, in this in this video, we've got quite an interesting series of of scarring and impact marks and raised rims to look at. First, draw your attention to this region in here where you can see that the the lines the the impact lines are running in this direction but then they disappear under this this titanium sheet it this titanium layer has been hammered down and and pushed over the top of the of the incoming path here of the of the scratch lines this is actually folded down over the top and these lines extend under this layer and what's also interesting is you can see there's a cavity here in the middle a small impact site in the middle and then you can see where the where the directional lines they continue over here and so they were they were coming in one direction or the other but they were following these lines and then this layer here was laid over the top of it it was pushed down probably by a strike over in this region and it was pushed down and then afterwards this crater was formed by an additional impact and how do we know that this one came afterwards well because we see a raised rim up here we see a raised rim right there and right there and a little bit down there and those raised rims only show up when when the object that hit pushes the material up and out of the crater causing these raised rims to take place so we know that this impact took place after this one push the material over the top of these scratch marks so we have we have multiple events significant event, events taking place over a period of time that have changed this landscape down here we can see a piece of embedded iron with its black fusion crust with the high areas on it being having flaked off a bit we can also see small iron meteorites embedded and we can see some small titanium meteorites embedded in the scratch marks all these would have would have had to come after afterwards in the crater itself we can see some small meteorites that hit and fused in there they welded into place some small ones in here it's just a incredibly interesting site with lots of lots of stuff to look at up in here we have a piece of iron with fusion crust showing on it 
I believe that in the bottom of this crater right here is a piece of iron and one over here, both of them having fusion crust on them. There's also a little bit of iron right up at the top of this crater and it has fusion crust on it. There's also bits of iron that were left behind so we know that this, the whatever object it was that hit this titanium meteorite or meteoroid as it was in space that it deposited bits of iron as it was scraping along it left an iron residue and that's probably how this one ended up here so quite a wonderful example to look at.